a candle in every soul some brightly burning some dark and cold there is a spirit who brings a fire ignites a candle and makes his own so carry a candle, run to the darkness, seek out the hopeless, confused and torn. Hold out your candle for all to see it. Take your candle and go light your world. Take your candle and go light your world. Frustrated brother, see how he's tried to light his own candle some other way see now your sister she's been robbed and lied to still holds a candle without a flame so carry her candle run to the darkness seek out the lonely the tired and worn Hold out your candle For all to see it Take your candle 
and go light your world. Take your candle and go light your world. Good afternoon, and to those who are watching online, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Advent. As we enter the last week of Advent, our weather is darker, colder, and wetter. Yet, we light our fourth candle, or our fourth Advent wreath candle, symbolizing peace to proclaim our faith that Jesus, our Messiah, is with us in the darkness. His light overcomes the darkness that surrounds us. And just as we have celebrated the hope, love, and joy we have in Jesus in our first three weeks of Advent, so today we assert that in Jesus the Lord, we have a peace that overpowers our anxieties our fears, our doubts. Today's gospel reminds us that just as the Virgin Mary brought Jesus to her cousin Elizabeth, so she continually brings our Savior to us through her intercession and loving presence. There will be a collection today for retired religious sisters, brothers, and priests who have generally served the church for many years when, uh, without an adequate retirement plan. Envelopes are in the views. Please put your donation in the regular collection. Please remember to silence your cell phones so that we can worship God without distraction. Our celebrant for this Mass is Father Roberto. Our preacher is Father Michael. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people. Light for the world to see. Christ be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for peace, our world is troubled. Longing for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living voice. Christ be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for food, 
many are hungry, longing for water, many still thirst. Make us your bread broken for others, shared until all are fed. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for shelter, many are homeless. Longing for warmth, many are cold. Make us your building, sheltering others. Walls made of living stone. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gather today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, may the hope, love, joy, and peace of Jesus Emmanuel be with all of you. Thank you. As the light of this Advent wreath has grown brighter through these weeks of Advent, so may the light of Christ within us continue to grow stronger, nurtured by the prayers and intercession of Our Lady of Guadalupe. And now we light the fourth candle on our Advent wreath. I invite John and Linda Van Dyke to come forward to light the fourth candle for us. May this candle symbolize our desire for peace in a world that has been distressed by division and conflict. <coughs> Isaiah prophet, prophesied a day when the lion would lie down with the lamb. Oh God, help us to become Christ's light in the darkness and instruments of his peace in our homes and in our worlds. May your spirit quell the senseless prejudice, bickering, and violence that occurs in our world. And may our prayer rise to you like incense through Christ our Lord. Amen. Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church, gathered today. sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. 
forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen, amen, Emmanuel shall come to thee, O Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Micah. Thus says the Lord, You, Bethlehem Ephrathah, too small to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to be the ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient times. Therefore, the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth was born, and the rest of his kindred shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord in the majestic name of Lord his God they shall remain for now his greatness shall reach the ends of the earth he shall be peace the word of the Lord Free, kind 
Jesus and truth shall meet. Peace and justice shall kiss. Truth shall spring from the earth. Salvation is near. Salvation is near. Peace and salvation are near. Come, O Lord, and set us free. Set us free. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me in holocaust and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, As is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifices and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He take away the, sin, the first to establish the second. And by this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Christ once and for all. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed, that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. 
Well, you need no reminding, I'm sure, that Christmas is just one week away. These last days now of Advent should be a time of increasing peace and joy, but you may feel instead like a student cramming for an exam. Can Christmas be here already? All we can think is, I'm not ready. There are still so many gifts to be chosen and wrapped. Yet, in the midst of all of this holiday anxiety, some of you may still have thoughtfully wondered what gift you could give to God. Now, does that seem like an odd question? Uh, It really shouldn't. We offer gifts to God all the time. The prayers that we say, the sacrifices we make, Those are gifts. And of course, whenever we come to Mass, we offer God the gift that he first gave us, his own divine Son. But what gift would God want from us now? Well, from tonight's readings, we know at least that it's something that could come from our own humble condition. In the history of Israel, David was just a simple shepherd boy, and yet he became king. And he came from a small, insignificant town called Bethlehem. Or as we heard in today's reading, It's more fully called Bethlehem Ephrathah. That second word means a place or something that is fertile and fruitful. And so out of Bethlehem's insignificance came not only David, but of course Jesus too. So our gift to God can reflect our own personal history and existence. And in the end, after thinking, thinking about possibilities, we might find ourselves ultimately saying, Lord, there is really nothing I can give you but my very self. And that's exactly the right gift But we've got to make sure that we include every part of ourselves. So we might start with what we think is the best. Let's give God our hearts and our love. And that's good. But for our gift to be more complete, it's got to include also our bodies. Well, this is the gift, of course, that Jesus gave to his Father. He offered his loving and obedient heart, but he expressed that gift in his body. And the Gospels record that very dramatically. And in the letter to the Hebrews, tonight's second reading, we have Jesus saying, Sacrifices and offerings you, God, have not desired, but a body you have prepared for me. And then following those words, Jesus made his body a worthy gift. In offering himself to the Father, he let his body carry the obedient love of his soul. In today's gospel, we see in the Virgin Mary another example of this complete self-offering. She was obedient to the inviting will of God and thus offered a place in her own body in which Christ could assume his human nature. In that way, like Bethlehem Ephrathah, that produced a king of Israel, so did Mary, ever a virgin, bring forth the king of heaven and earth 
from her body. In the history of Christianity, we find repeatedly that people went astray by denying the goodness of their bodies. They thought wrongly that the human person is really just a soul and the body is an insignificant shell for that soul. But that sort of thinking doesn't faithfully represent the Christian belief. We hold more correctly that our bodies are an integral part of our human nature. And so if we want to give the gift of our whole selves to God, we've got to include our obedient bodies. At Christmas, we remember and affirm and celebrate that belief. God took on a human body. And with the incarnation, there arises the knowledge that our bodies are noble. On earth, we offer them together with our souls in the full gift of ourselves to God. And in heaven, we will get them back, raised and glorified, taken up into the eternal life of God, who humbled himself once to become a man, soul and body. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now we stand and use our bodies, our feet, our voices to proclaim our faith in the one true God. As we say, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became human. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection and the life of the world to come. Amen. Lord, we come before you this day filled with confident hope, knowing that our blessed mother, Mary, intercedes for us and walks with us. That we, like Mary, may open our hearts to the peace of Jesus, which surpasses all understanding and which can overcome our darkness, anxieties, fears, and doubts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we, like Mary, may allow God to work in us, through us to bring hope, love, joy, and peace to our world. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are struggling with the rain and cold, with the pandemic, and with other difficulties, and for those who are trying to help them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this Christmas season may be for us and for those around us a season of healing, especially for those who have lost loved ones, those who are estranged with, from family or friends, and for those who are far from home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Angel Garcia Ramirez, Jr., for the eternal repose of his soul, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all intentions in our book of intentions and those we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy God, as we approach the marvel of Christmas, the birth of your Son, may your Holy Spirit come upon us and overshadow us as it did the Virgin Mary. And with her, may we believe that nothing is impossible for you to accomplish in us and in our world. We ask you this in the name of Jesus, God with us forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. my brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice and that we ourselves might be acceptable to our loving and almighty God. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon our, your altar, just as he filled with his power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophet foretold him, the virgin mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming when, and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, <clears throat> he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, 
all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, Command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 We stand once again and we pray together in the words that Jesus our Savior taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. Now let us carefully offer to each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God. My brothers and sisters, this is no longer bread and wine. This is the body and blood of Jesus the Lord, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And again, we say together the act of spiritual communion for those who cannot receive communion with us today. My Jesus. My Jesus, I believe that you are present. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. In the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Cold are the people, winter of life, we tremble in shadows this cold endless night, frozen in the snow, my roses sleeping. Flowers that will echo the sunrise. Fire of hope is our only warmth. Weary its flame will be dying soon. Voice in the distance, call in the night, on wind you enfold us, you speak of the light, gentle on the ear, you whisper softly, Rumors of a dawn so embracing, breathless love awaits darkened souls. Soon will we know of the Among us, 
Shine like the star, your light that guides shepherds and kings from afar. Shimmer in the sky, so empty, lonely, rising in the warmth of your song's zone, star unknowing of night and day. Gabriel from heaven came, his wings as drifted snow, his eyes as flame. Oh, hail, said he, O lowly maiden Mary, most highly favored lady, glory For no a blessed mother you shall be. All generations praise continually. Your son shall be Emmanuel, my seers foretold. Most highly favored lady, Gloria. Gentle Mary meekly bowed her head To me be as it pleases God, she said My soul shall laud and magnify His holy name Most highly favored lady, Gloria most highly favored lady, Gloria. Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for our announcements. 
our Children's Faith Formation Program would like to thank all of our parishioners for your generous response to the Optimist Youth Homes Drive for toys and Christmas gifts for at-risk youth and their families. We had an overflowing toy uh, box and they were all picked up and taken to the families that are going to get them. So thank you so much for responding so generously. And the New Year's Mass for New Year's Eve Mass, that's a week from yesterday. So New Year's Eve, the 31st Friday evening, the 6 p.m. Mass is canceled simply because we don't have enough people to serve at that Mass. So uh, there'll only be one Mass on New Year's Eve, Friday, December 31st at 8 a.m., not a 6 p.m. Mass. And you'll find the schedule of all of our Christmas Masses in the bulletin, so we ask you please, please take a bulletin home with you so you can have that schedule handy uh, for, with you. And if you'd like to donate $10 in memory of a loved one, and that $10 will go to decorate our church with beautiful flowers, we ask you to put your money in an envelope, uh, either in the pews or in another envelope, and drop it either in the collection or at the parish office mailbox. And we ask for $10 for each name that you want to honor. Father Isaiah will continue his Advent teaching series on the O Antiphons, the beautiful antiphons that begin on December 17th and go all the way to the 24th. And you can find that, uh, his talks, on our parish Facebook page as well as our YouTube page. Very uh, amazing historical significance to those simple little antiphons. We need volunteers to help decorate our church this week, beginning Monday. So uh, we're going to be here uh, all, all week uh, for upcoming Christmases, Christmas Masses. So we need to, we want to make it look beautiful, but we need people to lift things and put things in place and so on, as well as to clean up after our New, Ye New Year's Eve dinner dance. Um, again, it's going to be a wonderful event, but as always, there's a lot of things to put away. So if you can help out, we ask you to go to uh, the Sign Up Genius link it's on our website, and it just you click on that link, and it takes you to the page you sign up, and it's really easy. And this is a great opportunity for those of you that are school parents for our school to earn service hours, but it's a great opportunity for all of us to help our church celebrate Christmas as a community by giving a little bit of ourselves. As Father Michael said, using those bodies as old and as out of shape as they might be, they can still be helpful in helping us in this uh, very concrete way. And finally, we have free Catholic calendars for the 2022 year. They're available in the parish office in English and in Spanish. As always, thank you so much for coming to our Mass this evening. Thanks especially to our, all of our ministers who serve uh, week after week. And uh, thank you for the lovely music. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace and offer our souls, our bodies, our hearts to God. Thanks be to God. <laughs> oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. In lonely exile here Until the Son of God appear Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel Shall come to Mm-hmm. <laughs>